Hey everybody, it's John Caesar with Caesar Chimney Service. Today, we're gonna to talk about this little guy. This inside of the pipe is known by an inline damper, butterfly damper, it might be known by a couple different names. Usually it goes in the stove pipe above a wood stove and it's used to control airflow. The problem with these, and we tell a lot of homeowners this when we go for inspections, is they're not the best things for a wood stove. So before we get back to this, let's go over what causes creosote. Creosote buildup is caused by cooling smoke, as simple as that. The thicker the smoke, the longer the smoke stays in the pipe and slowly wafts up through the chimney, the more it's going to stick on the way and it's going to turn into creosote. Uh, there's three different grades of creosote. Grade one is like a really fine powder. Grade two is flakes and chunks in there. Grade three is where it turns almost liquid. It does turn into a liquid and it, it solidifies to the side of the flue and the pipe and it's just very inky, very hard to get off. So that worse the smoke, the worse the airflow in the chimney, the longer the smoke stays in the chimney, the more creosote it's gonna build up and the worse grade it's gonna be. The reason I'm talking about that in relation to this is this is no good. <laughs> and I can't put it any better than that. We tell homeowners that that have had them for years and it's, sometimes it's hard to understand. This one's gonna help you understand why. If you put something in the pipe above the stove, once the, the smoke has left the stove and it's now in the pipe going into the chimney, if you put something in that pipe that slows down the smoke in any way, you're creating turbulence, you're creating a roadblock for that smoke and that smoke can't get up and out as fast as it wants to it's gonna start cooling instantly. The cool thing about this, we took this out of a homeowner's chimney. Let me switch around so you can see. So here's the damper, it goes all the way through. When you look in, you can see the damper turning and usually this is supposed to be open. Even when it's open, you're still creating that turbulence inside the pipe. And when it's closed, of course, it's not 100% closed, but it's still creating quite a blockage. The interesting thing about this is you can see that as soon as the smoke hit that, the creosote started to form. That's just crazy. I've never seen one that... Oh, look at that. You've never seen one that obvious before. So it used to be in the chimney like this. The smoke was coming up, and as soon as it would hit that damper, you see it goes from bare pipe to the other side is completely glazed creosote. That's the creosote we're talking about, where it's slimy, it's shiny, very pretty, very dangerous. That type of creosote is the most dangerous, can light the quickest. But just wanted to show you that. These dampers, if you have if you have them in your chimney, you should probably take them out. We can replace those. We can put just regular stove pipe in. Putting this above the wood stove doesn't dampen the fire. It doesn't do what everybody thinks it does. It's not dampening the fire. It's choking the fire. You're slowing the smoke's escape. On a wood stove especially, the only thing you should be using to control the air is the little air vents on the stove. Sometimes it's a flap. Sometimes it's a handle. Sometimes it's a corkscrew um, knob, really. <laughs> but there's ways on a wood stove to control the amount of air that gets to the fire. That's a whole different story I could go on to for a long time. Long story short there is you want as much air to get to that fire as possible. If you're loading up a wood stove and closing those air vents down, you've taken the air source away from the fire. That fire is now choked and will smother and smoke very heavy, create a ton of creosote. We see it all the time. It's called a slow burn. People want to load the wood stove up at night make it go all night long so they'll turn the air they'll use it as a volume knob we're going to turn the fire down you can't turn fire down once a fire is going it's going the only thing you can do to it is smother it so what they'll end up doing is turning the air all the way down or shut or closed taking that air away from that burning fire and you've now created a smothered fire which creates a ton of smoke which will burn all night will create a lot of heat also creates a ton of creosote so moral of this story no more butterfly inline dampers. Give your fires lots of air. Build them smaller. Don't load the wood stove up with a ton of wood. Then close the door because there's not enough air making it in to feed that. Make sure that your fires are burning hot. Lots of air. Not a lot of smoke. Have a good day.